Hello there, boys and girls of the Minecraft universe, Centronet here with another tutorial on the channel and I've got a question for you. Do you play on a server where you have a whole bunch of crazy people that saw that the end was finally available, the dragon had been defeated, and they're just thinking shulker, 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 blah, 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 say that fast. Well, I do. On Broke Rock SMP, these guys went nuts. They got every shulker within 900 bajillion blocks. But we have a plan. We're going to trim the end. We're going to bring it back so we can get shulkers for ourselves. This will work on Realms 2, and it will work on single player worlds. So let's go ahead and let's hop right into the tutorial. Let's trim the end. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to open a local MC World copy of our wonderful Minecraft world by double clicking on it. And you will see that Minecraft over here is gonna say we're importing, and then it's gonna say that the import is complete. Now there are a number of ways to get this wonderful MC World file here. You can do this by creating one, by dragging the files off of the server that you play on. You can do this by exporting out of Minecraft. And you can do this by downloading a realm locally and then exporting it. I do recommend that even though it will show up on your menu that you create a local copy so you always know the one that you're working with. So our import was started and it's completed. And now we're gonna open up MCC Tool Chest. I will have a link to this down in the description. This is the tool that we're gonna to use to go ahead and trim the end. So we're gonna go ahead and click open. And this is gonna pull up a list of everything that we have that is ready for us to work with. And I'm gonna scroll down, scroll down. We're gonna find Broke Rock, the one that we just imported. Hmm, where are you? 2.5, that's the wrong one. I have way too many worlds and I probably am gonna blur all this out so you guys can't see everything that I've been doing. But there it is, right there. And open sesame. Gonna take a minute for it to load. And there we go, it has now loaded up for us and it looks great. So we're gonna go ahead and click on our map icon right here. It's gonna open our world map and this will slowly but surely populate. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize it. As you can see, but up here in the right hand corner, we are looking at the overworld and it is loading this map. Now this is a very big map. Broke Rock is a very big server with a lot of members, a lot of crazy people who make awesome YouTube content. And this, like I said, this will slowly populate and it will populate the overworld, the nether, and the end for us. But it does take time. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip through this periodically just scrolling through the three dimensions to make sure everything's loading. And once we get the end loaded, I will bring you guys right back. All right, and we're back. So as you can see right here, we are in the end, as you can see on the upper right hand corner, and there is our center end island. So in theory, you can actually go through and you can remove the entire end. One of the requests that we have from the Broke Rock players is they wanna keep the center island intact so that we can keep our end portal gateways and Somebody has a little house on the island. We wanna make sure we keep that. So we're gonna focus on saving these regions that are right here. The region numbers appear up here in the upper left-hand corner. And you can see as I move my mouse in between these red squares that they will change. So I'm gonna go ahead and jot these down. The regions that we wanna save are R-1, negative one, negative one, R-1, negative one, zero, R-0, zero, zero, and R-0, negative one. Bear with me, gotta write this down. <laughs> zero, zero, and what was the other one? Make sure you double check these numbers. Negative one and zero. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize our map. We're gonna go back to the main MCC tool chest window. I'm gonna maximize it so you guys can see it just a little bit better. We're gonna go ahead and expand the tree that is under the end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove every single one of these files that is not the four that we just identified. And it's just as easy as doing this. You right click on it, go to delete all. It's gonna ask you if you're sure. And we're gonna cycle our way through all of the files, making sure we save the ones that we want. I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back. And being able to video edit a video is just awesome because this took much longer than you would imagine because, oh man, the Broke Rock members, they know how to fly. They know how to explore. I love playing with these guys. Oh man. Bedrock dedicated servers are fun. All right, so let's go back over to our world map. So as I removed the files, this map updated the entire time and all that we have left in its beautiful glory is our end island. There's where we spawn in when we go through the portal. You can see all those big, big, big pillars. I love it. 
And if I'm not mistaken, the little house we're trying to save is right there. <laughs> All right, so we're actually done editing the map. The files were all updated in here, and then there's one really important step left, and that's this button right here. Let's go ahead and sit, hit save. And it's gonna do its processing thing. And now we can go ahead and close it, eventually. Oh, yeah, so it's still saving even though the progress box is gone. I'm gonna go ahead and close Minecraft. Let's let this thing finish, come on. I'll be right back. All right, and here we are in a, another copy of the world so we can make sure we can go in and test this and make sure that, big head, make sure that we didn't break anything in the process. And I wanna kinda of show you guys what happens over here in the end. So here's that beautiful platform that I showed you on the map. There are Endermen, we're in creative, don't worry. I can look at them all I want to. So the members of the Broke Rock SMP, they built a bridge to get over to the end islands before they had enough elytra for everybody, even though our dragons dropped them with no command blocks. Did you guys know that? Let's follow this out here. Ladies and gentlemen, look, it just ends. Because out here, that's where all the chunks are that, or the regions are that we removed. Isn't this awesome? Everything over there is now new, but we are gonna go ahead and see if we can't locate an end city and see if it regenerated properly uh let's see 1032 72 and we'll probably throw ourselves i don't know about 100 blocks up in the air let's do a tp we're gonna grab me i'm gonna go to 1032 172 and let's see is it there look brand new end city ladies and gentlemen shulkers everything ready to go we're in business we didn't break it woohoo Guys, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Like I said, come on over to the Broke Rock SMP Discord. Hang out with us. We have a blast. Bedrock dedicated server for the win. You guys like the video? Make sure you hit that like button. If you loved it, make sure you subscribe. Tell your friends we're having fun here on Broke Rock and Bedrock, the best version of the game. This is Centronet, and I'm out.